Hey, what's up everyone? I'm really excited to talk to you about Microsoft Threat Protection. This is a new capability that Microsoft has that creates a single pane of glass across many of these security products. So let's dive into it and take a look. Before we jump into it, let's talk about the prerequisites. And I'll post a link to the documentation in the video description. The licensing requirements are listed here. Now, this combines signals from the different security products into a single pane of glass. And so obviously you will need licensing for those security products, whether it's Defender ATP or it's Cloud App Security or it's Office 365 ATP or Azure Active Directory, uh, you will need the specific licensing for that. So make sure you, uh, you have that in mind. Once you meet those prerequisites, if you go to security.microsoft.com, and I'll zoom in here for you, security.microsoft.com, this is the console. Now to enable this, you have to go to settings, click on Microsoft Threat Protection, and then enable the preview feature. Once it's enabled, I recommend setting your time zone because this is uh, how you're gonna be able to view alerts and incidents. And then click on Home, and we're in Microsoft Threat Protection. So again, it's it's gathering data from all of the different security products, Defender ATP, Azure ATP, Cloud App Security, Azure Active Directory, Identity Protection, uh, Intune. It's, it's gathering data across all of those and it's combining it. And so you have these cards you can add here that allows you to have this dashboard. But let's dig into it a little bit further. If we go to incidents, what this is doing is it's combining alerts across all of the different products. And it's automatically correlating those alerts and creating an incident. Now, again, what makes this unique is that it's doing this across multiple products. Here, check it out. This incident here, the second line, is across Defender ATP, Azure ATP, Cloud App Security, and Office 365 ATP. That's a big deal because I don't have to sit here and manually correlate events like a regular analyst would. The system does it for me. And then when I click on, a, on an incident, I can then open up that incident page and I can do a deep dive into it. And this will map directly back to the MITRE ATT&CK framework. I have another video on that, so you could check that out. And I can see the different tactics that are used here. But then it's gonna tell me the scope. It's gonna tell me what assets are actually impacted. And I can see that we have three devices across five users and one mailbox that's impacted by this security incident. And over on the left side here, I have a storyline that's being told here around that incident. And basically these are alerts that are in uh, you know, chronological order, if you will, around what's happening. And then of course I could click on alerts. I could see the 30 alerts that were related to each other that are added to the incident. I could see more information about the devices. I could see what users. And again, all of this is contextual. So I can click on it and I can pop out to the individual tools for those uh, entities, mailboxes. But what's really cool is it performs an automated investigation, so it's self-healing. So in, for example, here it detected Mimikatz on an endpoint, it's gonna go through and automatically remediate that. Here it found uh, malware was uh, in a message in an email. So it's running a playbook now to remove that. And I can always click on the investigation here and it pops out to that individual tool where I can see more about the investigation that's happening, right? And then under evidence, this is going to be the malicious items that it discovered. So for example, here's the malicious files that it discovered as it was doing its automated investigation and check it out, it's already remediated. And here's some information about the file, the virus total count and what that malware was. The other thing I wanna show you here is over on the left side, if we go to hunting, I can now perform KQL queries across the entire environment. Everything from identity to email to devices to TVM, it's all here. And there's even sample queries that I can leverage here that will allow me to, uh, to run those to kind of learn KQL. So this is pretty awesome because it's looking across the entire environment. Again, Cloud App Security, Azure AD, Defender ATP, Office 365 ATP, so on and so forth. I can create my own custom detection rules if I wanna do that. Uh, we'll have another video on that at some point. And then if I go into reports, this will show me the different reports that are available to me that I can then drill into. So I just did a video on attack surface reduction rules. Here we can see some compliance reports around that. 
And uh, we could see some other items here, such as compliance of devices and malware on devices, so on and so forth. And then Action Center are, are all of the investigations that might require an administrator to approve an action, like kill a process or quarantine a file. Okay, folks, this is Microsoft Threat Protection. Again, it's an amazing capability. Uh, I'm really excited about this. It's correlating data from across the environment into a single unified dashboard. Hope you enjoyed the video. We'll have a lot more of these coming out soon on Microsoft Threat Protection. Hope everybody has a great rest of their day, and we will see you later.